What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the F1 2018 Road to Esports. Back today with episode number 3. If you're enjoying this series, do make sure to leave a like. If we can try and hit 40 likes in this one, that would be great. So if you've seen it, down there, on less than 40, you know exactly what to do. And it's not press the down thumb, the, that's the wrong one. But uh, yeah, be much appreciated as always. Share it around, all that good stuff. And yeah... My last video was with uh, a collab with Arav, so if you if you subscribe from that, I had quite a big influx of subscribers, unsurprisingly, uh, then welcome uh, along, and you'll be ready for some more terrible driving today, I'm sure, but uh, yeah. Basically, in today's video, we're going to be trying to ditch the racing line. So for 99% of my F1 racing career online and on the game, uh, I've used the racing line. Uh, the last couple of years, at the start of the game cycle, I've tried to ditch it in career mode, but to be honest, I haven't really had the time to invest in it. Obviously, I've had videos to make, and yeah, I just haven't had the time to just sit down and practice. So what we're going to do in today's video is as follows. We're going to go out there in time trial around Monza, Probably the most simple track on the F1 calendar. We're going to go out there and set a lap with the racing line on. Whilst we're doing that, we're going to be trying to memorise exactly where the braking zones are. And once we've set that lap, we're going to turn the racing line off and set a few laps with that. Try and get used to it, see exactly how we cope. And eventually, the goal is to try and set a lap around Monza without the racing line on, which beats our lap with it on. Sounds relatively simple. Obviously, Monza not a circuit with too many corners, but I'm sure before too long, we'll forget where the braking zones are and go plowing through a corner. But yeah, good bit of practice. Uh, probably going to go on for maybe an hour or so, uh, just doing a bit of practice. I'll condense this video down, obviously. Give my thoughts as always. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So into Monza we go. And time, first of all, for our benchmark lap. So this is the one that we did with the racing line on. And yeah, it, it wasn't the fastest lap that I could possibly do, but I, it was just a good benchmark time. As you can see, it was our fourth lap um, that, that, that we'd done. So yeah, I think you can say a good little bit of a tester for us to, uh, to try and match without the racing line. So going into the first corner, some braking markers to note. The 150 meter board is where we braked. Trying to clip that chicane on the first part, but not on the second part now going through the Curva Grande and through here it's just about taking as narrow a line as possible and well we don't even get the racing line when we've got the racing line on if that makes any sense but now going into the second chicane that is really really key the racing line through there and also through the Lesmos really key as to where to break and where the turning points are because around this circuit there's not really too many sort of braking markers that, that matter too much so you've got the first UK, which is the 150 meter board. There's also a reference point for the Parabolica. But apart from that, like into the Ascari chicane as well here, there's not really a brake marker board. Now, on this lap, I picked the safety car board on the right hand side. But you you'll see later on, I don't actually use that because it it I, I was finding that it was a little bit too early. So yeah, going into the final corner, there's a nice little braking zone for there. Um, and th this lap, more than anything, Obviously, it was about setting a benchmark, but also seeing where those breaking points were. So there you can see a 119.883. That is the time we've got to beat, and it was enough for 657th in the world. So now the benchmark time had been laid down. It was time to go into the settings and turn off the racing line, start a new lap. And this is where it probably all starts to go wrong. So going into the final corner at the Parabolica, just as that green strip on the left-hand side ends, that's where to break. And just, just trying to pick the right turning point into Parabolica is very, very difficult. But it doesn't matter too much at the moment because we are, of course, just preparing for the start of a new lap. And going towards the first corner, braking, as we knew, it had to be at the 150 meter board. So stamping on the brakes. And we actually slowed down really, really quickly. So... We gave ourselves a little bit too much time. Didn't get out of shape through the first corner. And at the moment, he's just about building up a little bit of momentum. But yeah, six and a half tenths down on our best time with the racing line. So it's it's a steady start. And then breaking in the shadows into the second chicane. But taking a very, very 
convoluted line through there and also getting wheel spin. Then through the Lesmos, this is where I was really struggling just to try and get a consistent turn in into that first one is difficult. And the second one as well going very, very wide through there. We're already nearly two seconds down as we go towards the second DRS zone and towards the famous Ascari chicane. Again, very difficult to pick a breaking point. I tried to pick that safety car board and we just got it all wrong. I, I, I later found that the key was to sort of go slow in, fast out, but the, the message hadn't quite got through to me at this point. So, yeah, just, just terrible through there. And then going into the Parabolica... As I say, we managed to actually pick our braking zone through there, and to be honest, it was actually quite quite good. We only lost about half a tenth of a second through there compared to our best lap. And we come across the line for a 1.22 dead, 2.2 seconds nearly, slower than our previous best. It really was just about practice, practice, practice. You can see here on lap 7, and that is just of our completed laps. We obviously did some that we didn't complete. And the Ascari chicane, that is where we were struggling. That was really where we were struggling. Because it's right at the end of the lap, we it's sort of the it's the corner that you practice the least, if that makes any sense. Obviously, if you restart a new lap, you go through the parabolica, and then you do every other corner on the circuit before you get to Ascari. So that was where the big time losses were, and that's why we were just trying to go through as many laps as possible. But 1.5 seconds down on this occasion. Skipping forward about 20 minutes then in real time. And finally, we actually managed to get a good run through this first chicane. Clipping the curb on the entry, but not on the exit. Uh, it just seemed to really work for us. We're actually up on our previous best time. And that really was just a case of practice makes perfect. We were, we, we were going through there almost hundreds of times. I'll be doing it in my sleep. But then as we got to the second chicane, well, we messed it up. Because we just can't find any braking zone on the way into there. I think if I was to show you what I was doing with the majority of my time, then this would be it. Going through the first chicane, realising we're down on our previous best time, and just restarting the lap. The amount of times that we did that, you can see a couple of occasions here. The other thing was cutting that first chicane. Obviously, it's very difficult to get right, and I dread to think how much time I've spent on that. Back to another lap that we did manage to complete though and coming towards the end of the first, sorry, the second sector, we're only two and a half tenths behind on our actual best time. So we lost a little bit of time through Ascari due to not realising exactly what I had to do through there. But still, coming towards the final corner, it's looking like our best lap yet and I don't know what we were doing on the brakes and then we just decided to go on the throttle. And well, and then just spin. So <laughs> at this point, I called it a night and decided to go to bed. But you know me, F1, it just you just can't keep me away from it. And we were back the next evening. I got back from work and thought, I can't leave the video on such a note. So as we go went through the first sector, we were up on our previous best. And now going through the Lesmos, that was probably the best that we've actually taken them. We are still up on our best time with the racing line. It's looking like we're actually going to beat our time as we go through sector two now. And as we come towards the Ascari chicane, it's happened again. It's happened again. I just absolutely crapped my pants. I, I had no idea what I was doing. And we couldn't even complete the lap properly. Now we did actually come to the end of that last lap, but we were four tenths of a second slower than our best time. It was a 120.2. But this is the lap, the best lap that we managed to put in. I decided to call it a day after this one because I spent hours trying to perfect this lap. This was our best effort coming towards turn one, breaking at the 150 meter board, getting it all slowed down in time to clip that first curb and not the exit one. A little bit of oversteer on exit, but not too much trouble. And now going through the Curva Grande, keeping towards the inside without clipping that curb as we come towards the second chicane. At the end of the first sector, we are all up on our racing line time and we actually take those curbs relatively nicely. It was just a case of being a little bit more smooth on this lap and now going through the first Lesmo keeping a constant steering angle through there is exactly what we wanted. We are now down on our best time and that means that we're down compared to the last uh, lap that you saw from me where we were up after two sectors but still there's not too much difference in the delta and as long as we go slow in fast out of this Ascari chicane it shouldn't be too much problem and there you can see getting a lovely exit through Ascari and onto this back straight we're a tenth of a second down on our uh, on our best time 
But now as we come through to the Parabolica, can we get the braking right? It looks as if we've got it sorted and relatively decent through the Parabolica, maybe going a little bit wide, but we have gone under 1 minute 20. Not quite, but still, we are less than two tenths of a second slower than our previous best time. So there you have the final time trial results. At the top, you will see our best time with the racing line turned off, and the personal best is the best time with the racing line on. 1.63 tenths of a second, that is the difference. We were faster in the first sector, but unfortunately slower in the second and third sectors. Now, if you put our best laps together without the racing line on, we would be very, very close. So we just need to, again, put those sectors together and get that perfect lap. I'm sure it will come with time, but uh, yeah, still, I think we can be pretty encouraged by that. Now, I'm not going to lie, I didn't expect to be sat here at the end of the video over 24 hours after recording the intro. But here we are. Um, quite a lot has happened between me starting the recording and ending it. But I think that was a pretty good effort. I wasn't expecting to beat my time, um, but we got very, very close. Admittedly, it did take us a lot of laps, but I think with a little bit more practice, we can be quicker without the racing line than with it on. So let me know down below whether you want me to just ditch it now and you know try and actually be a no assist driver. I think that might benefit me in the long run. Maybe do a few online races next time without it on. See how many people we can plow into the back of. That's probably what's gonna happen in the short term, but hopefully it will benefit us in the long run. I'm gonna try my best to sort of learn all the braking zones. But yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this laughing at me probably is how terrible I am without assists but this is a journey we are on the journey and that is that done we're, we're we're improving I think it's fair to say so join me next time where I'll probably do some online races and yeah I'll catch you guys then do take care bye bye